welcome back to my channel all right people so um today i'll be interviewing a gorgeous lady who is a lecturer over the week and a caterer over the weekend now for it, when i say catering i mean she does everything from food to snacks we love her snacks my kids love 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 her from snacks. waffles to buns to zobo to donut like amazing stuff she does amazing stuff so you all will be blown away like i was when she initially told me so come on let's go interview this gorgeous lady that i met just my love for for cooking and baking i've always loved to cook i've watched my mom cook and bake while i was growing up and i think i was the only one that had interest my sister didn't you know really like the kitchen that much and in secondary school i made sure i i enrolled for food and nutrition yeah food and nutrition so just always loved it as a hobby and then one day i just thought ah, ah this hobby i think i can make some money from it and let a lot more people enjoy what my family and friends enjoy so yeah that's the story uh, my friend used to be my friend used to be the secretary of their association i think for their state and they had this welcome special. Usually they do welcome special for 100 level students. And they had, um, they had contracted a caterer to do the cooking for about 200, 300 students. And then the caterer disappointed. And she was really freaked out. And I was like, ah, what is it? Not to go and buy rice and beef and like, let's go and rent pots. And right there in the hostel, Abuja Hostel, University of Jazz. <laughs> In fact, not even downstairs, just at the corridor of the staircase, we bought charcoal and I cooked the food for 200 people. That was the very first time I was cooking for that number of people. And everybody enjoyed it. And, you know, everybody went home happy. <laughs> I actually started Pretty Eats in 2014. That's when we got registered. And that's when I started selling okay and then okay. i took a break mm. that break was for almost three years because i got very busy with my day job and i had to i had to be shuttling between gombe kaduna just i really couldn't keep down orders so i had to start refusing orders and then slowly, I just said, let me just take a break. Because it's not worth it when I can give 100%, you know, to people. True. So, but then, um, with the way this year has been, 2020, I think nobody's going to forget 2020 in a hurry. Um, and then with the after strike, I sat down one day and like, but I have a business I could do. You know, I'm someone who I can't sit for too long without doing anything. You know, I get really frustrated. And then I said, well, I have something I could do with my hands. So I just picked back the business up. 
and here we are business has been good um we we've had our customers come back we've had new clients like officials <laughs> <laughs> all business has been good um okay for now in fact i've had a lot of people right from 2014 you know asking if i train and you know well we're planning something 2021 january february we'll plan to um start training so we'll keep you updated yeah. so i would advise start small start small start mm -hmm. where you are start you if you're if you're hoping to probably you know have a stand mixer have a big oven i i started there was a time i was in abuja and i didn't have all my baking tools with me i used um sand and stone to bake i mixed with my hands so start small start where you are and gradually you know consistency people get to know you people get to taste your product and gradually you start to improve on yourself and then as much as possible even though i'm a self uh self-taught baker now baker and caterer and whatever but of course i can't say completely self-taught because i do a lot of reading online i watch a lot of videos on youtube you know so i'm constantly improving on myself you know so also try to when you have the opportunity you know to learn something new you learn and improve on yourself so major word consistency mm. hi people so you all have heard from the horse's mouth see her doing her thing <laughs> so what did she say guys consistency planning and um research research on youtube very yeah, very important very so whatever you find yourself doing like i say do it with all diligence. It pays. It pays to be diligent. She's a living witness. So thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. And I'm going to leave her contact on the screen. Now, she does amazing stuff. You guys are going to see videos of every other pictures and videos of what she does. Please, patronize this chick. You would not, you would not regret it. So thank you for watching, guys. Bye. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> Bye.